Hello, welcome to this Max 7 tutorial number 34. Intro to Jitter. How to play a QuickTime movie. Well, we get to wipe the slate clean today. We've been doing a lot of complicated stuff and today we're just going to start off with a good old blank patcher. And we're going to be working with Jitter today and there's some fundamental things that you should know about Jitter, but first let's just do something that we can feel like um, that we do easily and well in Jitter, just adjusting this window here. So today we're just going to do something very simple, and that is play a QuickTime movie. Now, you'll notice when you're working in Jitter that a lot of the objects start with the letters J-I-T. So let's type an N to get a new object and type JIT, J-I-T, dot movie. And you can already see them popping up there. And there it is, JIT movie. And then after that, we can type uh, two arguments. And let's uh, type in 320. By 240 and 320 and 240 refers to the pixel size of the movie that we're going to play and then let us type uh, let me just zoom in a little bit so that we're looking at this more closely okay so there's our JIT movie object and what the JIT movie object does is when it receives a message to do so so let's just type a message uh, read and then we'll type count down dot M O V don't know where it went for a second there but hopefully that'll work countdown dot M O V and when it receives that message if it can find a file called countdown dot M O V and I happen to know that it can um, it will play it, but it will also need some place to show it. So let's type letter N and type JIT dot window and see what happens. Ta da! A window pops up. Now, um, this is, uh, you can see I can move it all around here. So it, it calls out for a window from your operating system and then it gives it a name U07802692 a fairly memorable name and if you want to add an argument to this JIT window you can change that name so I'm just going to show you how to do it uh, type in the argument um, Wally whoa wa there we go wa our windows named wa and now if you look up there, you see this window is named WA. So you can put an argument behind that that will name the window just in case you happen to have multiple windows. Now, so that we can keep looking at this window, I'm going to, uh, because every time I make this window active, we won't be able to see it, I'm going to get rid of my inspector here and move it over and put this window right here. And maybe even make it bigger. Okay, so now we'll connect this JIT movie to the JIT window and we'll lock our patcher and we will push read countdown.movie. And indeed, JIT movie has read it and is now playing it, but we can't see it. And the reason for that is that, like many objects in Max, um, the jitter objects are not different. They need to be told to output something. So this jit movie object is sitting here playing the movie, but it's not sending it out. So what we need is our old friend the metronome object. So type n. Hmm. Type. I guess it is playing that movie. I wish it would stop. Okay. N again. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a locked patch. That's why I can't get it. N. Metro, and then we'll just, uh, if we put in 40, that's 40 thousandths of 40 over 1,000, one, one thousandth of a second, uh, that's um, 
one twenty-fifth of a second. So um, most movies play 24 frames or 40 uh, excuse me or 30 frames a second so this is good that will send out a bang every 1 25th of a second or 25 uh, bangs per second and then all we have to do is turn the metronome on it's funny how we have all these objects to keep turning the next object into its excited state there we go okay so when we turn this on this will start banging out bangs and telling the JIT movie, which is already playing the movie, to send that movie that it's already playing. Every time you hit a bang, send out a frame. So whatever frame happens to be playing, it will send it out here. And um, just for fun, let's put uh, integer box here. So I just type the letter I and, type, and uh, connect the left hand outlet to the right hand inlet and I, I'm not messing with it yet. We'll, do, we'll mess with it later. But let's go ahead and click on this and just watch what happens over here. So click and I happen to see a 9 and then this movie which will just keep repeating itself 1 boom 10. So I didn't see a 10 when it started. That was kind of because um, uh, because it didn't start at the beginning. If we wanted to start at the beginning, we would have to do something else. But um, right now, I'm just gonna uh, three, two, one. Okay, I stopped it coming down to one. But is it in fact going to start there again when I turn it on? And the answer is <laughs> no. It started at two. Uh, I got close. I have to make it about five seconds. We'll turn it off for five seconds. The next time it gets to ten, just to demonstrate a point. 10. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, boom. And there it is, 5 seconds later. So we know that the JIT movie is actually playing the movie and that this metronome is just sort of every time it sends a bang to JIT movie, then JIT movie sends it out to the JIT window. That's only important so that you understand that JIT movie is playing it at the speed that it's supposed to be playing no matter what you do with a metronome. Um, how could we prove that? We could type in a 2000 here so it would only send out a bang every two seconds. And uh, bonk. And let's just see if two seconds, you know, eight, six, four, two, ten, right? So it's just going to keep doing that. And you can see. Um, it even nails it right on this line. This line's not moving because it's hitting it at perfectly every two seconds. If we change it just slightly from two seconds, like to 2026, we'll probably notice... I guess that's not enough to make a difference. Let's try there. We'll probably see this start to... Yeah, now this is going to start creeping around um, as it waits every 2.181 seconds to send a bang out. Very, very interesting. So that's how you play a movie in uh, Jitter, which is in Max. Um, perhaps, uh, let's just turn this off for a second, um, if you don't want to have a separate movie here, and I often find this thing to be a pain in the neck, there's another um, kind of window that you can use, which is called a P window. So I'm going to unlock my patcher again here, and I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll just make a new object. And type in uh, JIT dot P window. That means patcher window. And it immediately turns into a patcher window. So if you want a window in your patcher to just kind of see what's going on, you can. So now we'll uh, now um, <laughs> here, we'll speed this back up so we don't have that uh, insane number there. Okay. Um, as you can see, also this patcher window is resizable and rescalable, so you can distort it like crazy. But it's just something to stick in your patcher window, and I think if you uh, hit shift, it tries to stay um, 
relatively straight. Of course, it's staying a square. I don't know why anybody would want it to do that. Anyway, so that's a P window. Um, I'm just going to stop again and point out that in um, where to get the movies from in Max is also um, sort of an exciting thing, and they've made these upgrades in Max. So this thing that's called JIT Movie here with the these numbers that tell you how many pixels. Um, let's, let, before I tell you that, let me let me just try a quick experiment so you can see this too. If we change it from 320 to 32 pixels by 24 pixels, um, and then we'll see how that looks. Well, that does not look good at all. Um, it's either so small I can't see it. Maybe we'll make it more reasonable numbers. Um, 100 by um, 76. Oh, and since I changed it, I'm sorry, I have to tell it to read the countdown movie again. But can you see how pixelated it is? I'm sorry, I should have left it at that really lower value. Hold on. I will change this to um, what was again 32 pixels and 24 pixels so it'll be okay tell it to read the movie again and play it and now we have a really 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 pixelated version of our countdown movie nice okay add that well let's just leave it there it's not using up much brain power since it's so few pixels um, one of the nice things that I wanted to show you about um, Mac 7 is that if you go to the file browser and that's this uh, target shape on the left hand toolbar click on that you will get well usually you end up home I, I just want you to know how to find your way around here and if you click on kinds which is sometimes like that click on kinds underneath it you can find video. Click on the video and you find this series of videos that it has already in it and you can there's actually quite a few. Okay. Um, if you move that over to the side so that you can drag something out of it, let's go get a movie here. We'll highlight it. You see B-Ball movie. You could just copy the name of B-Ball movie which is right down here. Copy that and stick that in a message that says read bball.move or mov but you can also just take it like this and drag it into the max patch and let it go oops <laughs> unlock your patcher first as this uh, happy little sign is telling me so now my patcher is unlocked now drag that bball mov over there and let it go and mine popped up to the corner oh I know why because I am so zoomed in so there's bball.movie and what this is is um, it's a movie play bar that incorporates uh, JIT movie as well so if you have another um, if you have another window of any type you can, I'm just going to copy this one and move it over. You can do away with a whole bunch of this stuff like the read and the metronome and the JIT movie and all that because this incorporates it automatically. This is a um, what they call a play bar. Okay, so locking our patcher, we can just come over here and click on it, and now it plays from the beginning to the end and then it stops. And if you press this thing here of the two. Um, arrows chasing their tails around or then it will play forever so that's just handy if you don't want to waste a whole lot of time putting in this stuff this stuff has uses by the way to give you more control but this is just sort of a generic player okay I'm gonna stop that for a second and now show you yet one more fabulous thing they did in Mac 7 which is then if you um, go and select another movie 
and you'll have to watch this real careful carefully excuse me this is the dishes movie and I'm dragging it over on top oh I didn't unlock my patcher again hold on there we go okay you drag your dishes movie over here on top of it you'll see that the b-ball movie um, lights up red depending on where it is so if you drag it over the top of the whole thing and the whole thing lights up I believe if you let it go it will replace that movie but if you bring it down just a little bit so that it only uh, lights up the bottom of b-ball and let it go now you have a playlist and um, that way you can and I'll just make it bigger so you can see it and then if you go and get another movie um, well what's nice here garbage sure and it's the same thing when you drag it over there you can either highlight this whole thing which I believe replaces it or go down like that so it just underlines it and let it go and now you have a three movie playlist and locking our patcher we'll take a look at that and see we get basketball we get dishes who thought of that movie and we get garbage wow that's a really fast movie I wonder why it's so very fast um, so that's it um, how to play a movie in jitter uh, how to play a QuickTime movie couldn't be easier than that could it um, that's it for now I will see you in the next video thanks for watching